Sup, Duder? Eh? How you holding up? Surviving. Had the weirdest dream last night. Really? Saw some space bugs. No, not space bugs, like... Not bugs. And not in space. Like things beyond bugs. In some place beyond space. I fell on the sleep co- I fell on the sleep. <laughs> I fell asleep on the couch watching Judge Kath- Nah, I fell asleep on the couch watching Judge Kathy. Oh, awesome, she's the best. She really is. She takes no crap. Boy, you ain't lying. So what's up? You wanna hang out? Yeah, man, let's roll. Huh. So, this is the thing? This is the thing. It's kind of our son. We brought him into this world. Well, you helped. Well, you helped? It kind of smells weird. Anyway. So, what are we doing tonight? I don't know. We have B's car. Oh, really? We should go to Donut Wolf! Oh, yeah! I haven't been since I got back. I need some of those slammer cakes. They have pancakes now, too, for some reason. Oh! Hey, Captain. Donut Wolf? Hmm? They got pancakes now? Fine. <clears throat> Fine. Ride the chariot! To Donut Hill! A woo! A woo! That's all cute and adorable, but now I'm very concerned that Greg and Angus are having relationship issues, and that's going to murder me! And that's all the people I've kissed. That's two people. Kinda. One and a half. Whatever, like your average is any better. Angus, you've been really quiet. Sorry. You okay? We're gonna get pancakes! Hey, Angus? Angus? Hey! Gonna get them flapjacks! Angus? Paging. <laughs> hey Jackson, I didn't know you had a PhD. <laughs> when were you gonna tell me that you were a doctor? When were you gonna tell me about that six-figure salary? That could have gotten me out of here years ago. Well, year ago. Uh, let's see, uh. Uh, 16 months ago. <laughs> Paging Dr. Jackson. Dr. Flap Jackson. Please report to my belly. <laughs> okay, yes, pancakes. Dude. Dude. Ooh. God. Damn. It. Whoa. Did we get a flat tire? I'm pulling over. No, Donut Wolf. May. We'll get there. We'll push the car. Okay, you all stay in here. Well, you both. Because it's a flat. You don't drive on a flat. Why? Yeah, why? You just don't. It messes up the wheel or something. How do you know so much about cars? We can fix it. With what? We're gonna get some sticks. That's silly. No, I mean, people fix tires. It's a thing people do. It's a thing people do. 
when they have a goddamn tire. Guys, why are you being such a dick? Why am I the one that has to be the responsible one? Guys! What, May? Don't yell at May! Ugh, I'm gonna wander. Fine. Fine. Okay, ah. Uh. No. 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 No, guys. No. Where am I supposed to wander to? Jeez. Look at those woods. It's like the perfect place to dump a body. That's tough to find. Good body dumping woods. Could go see if there are any bodies in there. Eh. Oh no. No, please. Oh. Okay, what can fix a flat tire? Uh, sticks, rocks, leaves, wood, dirt. Maybe I can whistle a trench. Maybe I can whittle a tr Maybe I can whittle a trench out of a log. I wonder if I could, like, train an owl to do owl tricks. Nope, focus me. <sighs> oh boy. So, what are we doing? Well, I'm trying to figure out what we're gonna do. We could call somebody. Oh, do we suddenly carry phones? Because there's magically signal now. In this piece of shit town. Jeez. Okay, well... Hey, Dingus! Hey, Dinguses! What? What? There's a spare tire back here. Oh! Oh, nice! That's one good thing. Anyone know how to, like, do the tire? Yeah. Can I help? No. Dude. May, you're not a bad person, but I do not trust you with any part of this process. Jeez, man. Jeez. I mean, I get it, though. Too bad you didn't get partially eaten by a shark. Too bad you didn't get cereal. Nah, why, why did I just go into B? Too bad you didn't get cereal killed. Their, their voices are a bit similar. Too bad you didn't get... Too bad... Too bad you didn't start doing drugs, and then died from drugs. We tried weed a while back. Too bad you didn't OD and die from it. Okay, are you two done? Donut Wolf, it's so bright, like like a like a like a like a franchise location in the night. Very accurate. Finally here. Yep. Ah, oh, yeah. That wolf of the donuts. A uh, woo! Yep. Welcome to Donut Wolf, home of the Slammer Cake, now featuring pancakes with special Howlin' Mad maple syrup. How would you like to ride the chariot today? Hello, sir. Mighty fine donuts you got here. Thank you, ma'am. We'll take half a dozen go- We'll take half a dozen go-nuts. Dude, we should get chariot wheels. We got chariot wheels last time. I want slammer cakes. Actually, we're out of slammer cakes. What? How can you be out of slammer cakes? That's like half the reason to come here. Dude, just pick something. Okay, we'll take half a dozen chair. We'll take half a dozen chariot wheels. Would you like them with eternity sauce? No. All right, all right, I'll take six chariot wheels, six doom nuts. What are doom nuts? Six doom nuts. 
Are those new? Limited edition. Limited edition. Um. Well, they're about to be even more limited. And no eternity sauce. Last time I had that, I stayed up all night digging a hole in our backyard. They found me asleep in the morning at the bottom of the hole. <laughs> what? May? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> You're going to have to explain that one again. Also, blood bagel on the right. Is that blood ba- Let me. It looks- I have a feeling- Now, when did Vinny start blood bagel? When did when did Vinny do Blood Bagel? That was that was several years back, I believe. Blood Bagel Red Vox. Why am I doing this? Nah, it, it's a little Blood Bagel. Blood Bagel's bloodier, though. It's, it's got more splatter on it. And all around it. I don't know why, why I looked into that. Yes, ma'am. But, but, I'm still... May, you have to explain that whole digging a hole in the backyard th then being found asleep in it. W why did you do that? Are we eating here? I guess. Whatever. Um, yeah, let's eat here. Fine, I'm gonna go find a seat. I have to go to the bathroom. Okay. This is fun. Oh, Greg. <sighs> this isn't fun. This blows. Why are things weird? Why doesn't this feel good? Everything's stupid. I'm going to break something. May, please don't break something. Mario Party! As the spirit may, just unravel the toilet paper. To toilet paper. Shouldn't you shouldn't be doing this just because you're angry, dude? Stop! What the hell? What are you doing? What does it look like I'm doing? Okay, the. Okay, fine. That was a dumb question. Okay, why are you doing this? Do I need a reason? Yeah, I kind of think you do. Since when? What are you even doing in here? Getting you. I can find my way out myself. Fine. 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 Kind of a weird question. But did you go... B kind of a weird question. But did you go before you decided to trash the bathroom? Or... God, Greg, I didn't even have to go. Okay, jeez. I do now! We have a table for when you're done. Leave. Right, okay. Wait, since when did I... I didn't see a pentagram. Donut Wolf. <sighs> oh boy. S 
so... How are you guys doing? Anything new? Other than, you know... All this stuff that's been happening? Ghosts and stuff? Yep. That's pretty new. Hey Angus, how'd you get Bee's car for tonight? She was going to a party out of town, but I guess she lost her nerve. Oh. And Greg and I were supposed to do something. This is something. Let's just eat. Yes, please, let's eat. Woohoo! Oh, God. If, if God even exists, these donuts... You're not religious, right, Angus? No. Have donuts ever made you think twice? No. Oh, there's, a, there's a pentagram. Pentagram donut. So how's our son working out? He's in our living room. He sure is. Pretty great. Yep. Come here, come, come, come to me, blood bagel. Kind of blood bagel. Greg, you're awful quiet. Just eating. You never had a problem talking and eating at the same time. You never had a problem talking and eating at the same time. Spooky donuts. Ugh, donuts sick already. It smells. It smells. Dude. Donut Wolf? The robot thing. I thought you'd like it. I smell and you like me. Yeah. Yeah, to both of those things. Greg spent a lot of time and effort on that robot. Because he thought you'd love it. No, he did it because it was fun. No matter what could happen. Jeez. Mm. Snack donut. Oof. Feeling woozy. Angus, you're being rude. I'm being rude. We're trying to get out of here. Both working our asses off, and you come waltzing back into town, and suddenly Greg is breaking into grocery stores. Abandoned ones? And like, stealing car batteries. Abandoned ones? And messing up our already crappy apartment. Hey dude, come on. Wait, how is this my fault? Whatever, I'm eating. I feel like May's gonna puke. Oh, cripes. Oh, sweet cripes. I'm falling into the sky. What the fuck was in those donuts? Ugh. It was all weird colored. Oh, uh, yes, yeah, she puked. Puke usually isn't that color. It was like multiple colors. You okay, May? Yeah, no. Ugh. My mouth tastes like broken dreams. I am really mad at you two. Why? I hate awkward silences. Am I like ruining your lives or something? 
Just tell me if I am instead of whatever this is. Oof. Oh, back to the tough decisions. Oh. Do you not like me anymore, Angus? What? No, May, I like you fine. Why are you being weird then? Uh, so, Angus, I'll take this. Thanks, hon. May, remember my uncle? Sheep farm out past Brittle, out by the interstate. Yeah, kinda. When I was like eight, my parents got sick of me and made me spend, like, a month there in the summer. I spent the whole time following him around. Sheep are nice. I got to pet one once. Sheep are really dumb is what they are. One afternoon before my dinner... Okay. <sighs> one afternoon before dinner, my uncle left me by the pen. And for some reason, I opened the gate. Why? I have no idea. Kids are like sheep. Really dumb. They so are. So, a bunch of the sheep, they... Yeah, get the hiccups again. So a bunch of the sheep basically immediately bolted, and I chased after being all... You dumbass sheep. You tried, Bug. They ran across the field and into the woods, and there was a and there was this really steep hill. They went down that went down into the interstate. Oh, oh no! What happened? Four got splattered by a semi truck. Some ran back up the hill, but three made it over the but three but three made it over the median. And across and read blight read, but three made it over the median across and across to the other side, and they just stopped. And I got to the bottom of the hill by the road, which was like covered in sheep guts and parts. Wretch noise. I, I, I can't fake a wretch noise because it's just, it, it's one of those things that it's the noise it's a noise you make and you feel like you actually are going to puke you know and we just looked at each other across the interstate me waving my hands two ran back got hit by another truck did the truck stop they totally didn't that's probably illegal but the other one he ran down the hill to, he ran down the hill on the other side, into the woods, and no one ever saw him again. Jeez, dude. Mm, the tattoo, I'm curious why we get a tattoo of the sheep. But, but what happened after that? Hey, your tattoo. Yeah. <laughs> I, s <laughs> I sleuthed the meaning. That's awful for you. Poor sheep. But if I was in their position, I'd have run too. And I want to be the one that got away. And I want Angus to come with me. I, like, failed those sheep. Just like, you know... Everything has failed us. That's a bit... No one even denies it. And no one tries to... And no one tries to talk you out of leaving here. And yeah, being the only queer people in town sucks. I'm here. You already left once. But I'm... Back. I can't stay. We can't stay. I guess. And I love Angus. I love you. I love both. <laughs> I love both of you. Obviously in different ways. Thanks for clarifying. We have a plan and we're both working. 
We have a plan and we're working our asses off to make it happen. Two guys, full time, minimum wage. I have to grow up. I have to grow up a bit. I did grow up a bit. May. You have to let me change. Sorry I was rude earlier. It's okay. Remember the time we almost burned down the school? <laughs> yeah! Fireworks. Student council poster just... Whoosh! God, that was a good night. Soaked from the sprinklers, running through the parking lot, laughing our asses off. <laughs> oh my god, yeah! That was maybe the best night of my entire life. It's one of the all-time greats. Kids still talk about it. That night lives on, man. Well, we can at least be legends forever. Well, tonight was a well, tonight was a complete bust. I'm sorry. <laughs> Stop apologizing, Angus. I'm sorry, too. It's cool. And I have an idea. Oh, yeah? You two up for one more big crime. You can... You can come. You can come this time, Angus. Do a crime with us. I... Okay. Aw, Captain. Captain Criminal. Let's go. Oh no. Oof. This thing is gonna really freak some kids out. Yeah, dude. They're gonna tell stories about this thing. They'll never know what it is or how it got the or how it got here. You guys sure you're okay with this? Yeah. This is a good home for it. Leave it for the kids. Let it be a legend. Hmm. Yeah. Too bad it didn't fall on you. <laughs> Too bad you didn't get your arm caught in the gears. Too bad both of you didn't get trapped in the car after a wreck and explode all over the road and have to be scraped up with a snow shovel. <laughs> nice. Decent, Cotton. <laughs> Alright, well. Moving on. Yep. Goodbye. How long do you suppose it's going to run for? Let's be legends. Legends. Angus is good, and Greg rules, okay? <sighs> that sounds like a door opening. I reiterate, I never have the time for this shit. But... Well, I see it moving on. I don't know if there's anything left to find, but, you know, end of the video coming up. I'll probably be able to finish to finish up tomorrow night. Hey, man. Hey, man. Sorry about, like, everything. Are we still apologizing? Can we be past that part? <laughs> sorry. I mean, you know. <laughs> Night, Duder. Night. Hey, hey, B. You up? Yes, ma'am. What's up? Nothing. Like, I'm a little sick from Donut Wolf. Yeah, that's why I don't go there. It's so good. How can it be so good and so, like, mean to you? It's a wild world, May. Anyway, I puked and then we got... Anyway, I puked and we dropped a robot in the woods. 
Okay, I'm too sleepy to try to decipher that. Go to sleep. I'm going to sleep. Recording just in case something new happens with Angus. Wow, be let you have the car two nights in a row? Yeah. Even after the flat tire? Well, I mean, you can't really do an Well, I mean, you can't really do anything about that. And I replaced the tire. Oh, yeah. Cool you could borrow her car, though. I had to ride on Greg's bike when we saw that ghost. Yeah, Greg needs to get his license. I fell off his bike, which I could also... Which I also... Which I also did that a few days before that. So you think you saw the guy you saw was a ghost? So, so you think the guy you saw was a ghost? Not a guy, a ghost. Right. Okay, this is this is all this is all the same. Okay, Greg's paranoid about owls. Wait, what? I think I heard an owl. Oh, hun. Greg got attacked by an owl bee. What? Yeah. You, hold up, the geek. That was a bad voice. What? When? We were breaking into that history place. I don't think they attack groups, Bug. Well, if I get mauled to death, I warned you all. I'll punch any owl that gets near you. Aw, oh, thanks, Captain. Big Dangerous Greg, scared of birds. <laughs> Big Dangerous Greg, scared of birds. I almost died from that owl. <laughs> That's adorable, I love it. <laughs> okay, it seems like there are going to be bits of different stuff peppered in throughout this. In fact, I think Gray, I think the, the order of walking is changed up. My only regret is not working on my voices more. Like, it'll be she got this deep, bored, generally just can't really give a fuck because she's too, she's too tired from work kind of voice. And then you got Craig, he's kinda, you know, He's, he's just kind of out there, just, just living his life, you know? And then there's Angus. He's a good guy, but, you know, keeps it restrained. Behind his hat and glasses and fancy clothes, he's a good guy. Just kind of burly. And then, I wish I had worked on my voices more, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> just... Just, just got more into a groove of voicing these characters. Really, that's the only regret I can say about this series. I didn't practice my voices more. Okay, this is immediately different. Plain as Greg. I could use like five naps. Five good naps in one nap bucket. Jump in. I used to skate. I wasn't super good at it. I can skate. I am a skater. Skate and destroy. Skate to create. Skate to create. I do what I like. So is she dead? No idea. No response from her parents. Maybe they're at the hospital? She might be, like, brain dead or something. More so than usual. Dude! Sorry, that sounded funnier in my head. Jeez! Yeah, yeah, B, that wasn't... That wasn't... That wasn't very nice! May could be dead! <laughs> I don't see the dude. He was outside my building last night. Late. Any idea who these people are? I have zero clue. I can't come up with any explanations that aren't nuts. Getting dark early. So, we got brownies, got sodas. Hey, Cotton. Hey, Bug. You making, like, three dinners at once? Brownies are in the oven. Thinking about making that lasagna we got and forgot about. Are brownies and lasagna a good combo? 
We haven't been shopping in a week. Hey, hon, you should maybe go to sleep or something. You've barely sat down in the past 24 hours. Good dinner makes everyone feel better. Someone's gotta take care of you. Dude, let me take care of you. Dude, let me take care of you. This. This stuff I'm... This. This stuff I'm doing. This helps me. Okay, that's cool. We are gonna make it through this. We are gonna make it through this. Love you. Love you. Hey, just wanna say... It was cool of you to t It was cool of you to go to Possum Jump with May. I know the scout camp wasn't, like, the most fun place from when you were a kid. It's cool. Like, it was cathartic. Nice. I need to defrost the lasagna. Or do I? Do you cook it frozen? No, you, you yes, you cook it frozen. Guys, this is a bad situation. Yep. Yep. Yes, sir. Wait, everybody shut up. What? I heard it too. Seriously, what? There's someone standing outside the door. What? Everybody be very quiet. Crap! Greg! Holy crap! May? It's May! Holy shit, dude! I thought you were... I, th I thought you were gonna be dead! Not yet. You came back to life! I don't think she was dead. Pizza party! I'm feeling woozy. You should lie down. You can sleep in our bed. I feel weird about that. How about the couch? Do I have to stop playing? No, the sound is good. Yeah, this is mostly the same. We can we can jump forward. Yeah, this is mostly the same. We can we can we can skip forward. Wait, wait is this different? Yeah, just in case. No, how uh, was it? How did it go? I sure hope she's all right. Yeah, May's a good person. Both of you. Shh. No. No. Th. What? It's Leth Noithy. <laughs> Aunt Greg. Talking to Greg this time. Can we all hit the sack? Sure, dude. Hey! Everybody, go to bed now. Holy crap. Greg this time. Hey. Hey, Greg. You awake? Yeah. Do you know why I beat down Andy Cullen six years ago? Back when you said you were all... Back then you said you went all crazy. But, like, that's not really a reason, I guess. I was playing that game where you, like, dated ghosts. I remember that one. Had a hot skeleton. Alistair or so <laughs> Alistair. This was way before this was way before Habo Hotel. <laughs> and and the funny and the funny radio man. <laughs> Alistair or something like that. <laughs> yeah. You were crushing hard on those dank bones. <laughs> I was playing it like twenty four seven. Until this one afternoon, when sudden and suddenly, like something broke. It was just like pixels. Your computer broke? No, like reality broke. The characters on screen, like I felt like I knew them, but they weren't people anymore. They were just shapes, and their lines were just things someone had written. They never existed. They never had feelings. They never would exist either, and it felt so sad. Like I just lost these real people, and this whole thing we had, it was just me, alone. 
and like that realization like dumped out of the screen and into real life went outside in the tree out front I looked at it every day it was like a friend outside the window now it was just a thing just a thing that was there growing and eating and just being there like all the stuff I felt about the tree was just in my head and there was some guy walking by and he was just shapes just like this moving bulk of stuff and I cried because nothing was there for me anymore it was all just stuff stuff in the universe just dead dude why didn't you tell me I don't know what could I have said this all happened like the day before that softball game I mean I was there in the stands I watched you do it I was so scared for you when Andy stepped up it was like and he was just shapes too just lines someone wrote like nothing in there and I was so scared and angry and just I don't know before I knew it I was on top of him smashing his face in with the bat just shapes red shapes all over the grass there wasn't that much blood oh god I made him bleed all over the place Greg I wonder if he like wondered why what he'd done he he was probably an asshole no dude I didn't know him neither did you well that well then you had to go to therapy yeah dr. Hank and his journaling dr. Hank's messed up dr. Hank's messed up one of my tooth fillings yeah he's not good at what he does which I guess is understandable because he does like everything I meant to ask you did you did that journal shit did it actually work kinda sorta it helps me like grab onto things and keep them in one place Whoa. but since that whole thing happened back then when I'm alone in a new place it's all shapes like back at the softball game I was doing fine at college for a while college is for losers dude listen okay sorry dude I couldn't make friends. I was just afraid of being outside or around other pe or around people alone. And there was this statue of like the founder or something, a really shitty statue, like all rusted metal. And it was these shapes, and he was pointing down at me. And I was so scared. I didn't leave my dorm room. I didn't eat. I either didn't eat, or I ate entire pizzas at once. I downed cough syrup just to sleep all the time. Dude! And I finally got up the courage to leave. And I came home, where everything was fine. Where I knew everyone, and it wasn't just... dead shapes... watching me. Jeez, dude. Something broke. In my head. In my life. Dude. You should have called me. We could have come to we could have come and rescued you. Would have like kidnapped you. I like couldn't call home either. I couldn't even talk to anyone. I don't even know why. I didn't even come home for longest night. I just stayed in my room in bed. That's that's horrible, dude. I I thought when I came home I just I felt so safe here, and everything made sense for a few days, and then all this, and, 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 dude, dude, shh, you're gonna be okay. I'm so scared, Greg. I know, dude. We're all freaked out right now. You need to sleep. I'll be here all night. I...
didn't I shot? I wasn't aiming for his shoulder. Ugh, you effing shot me! Hey, asshole, get away from her! Three of us, one of you. And none of us got bolts sticking out of us. I am gonna... F wow, that's a, that's a lot of swearing. Fucking fucker, fucking fuck you. And I'm gonna make something up. I am gonna fucking mutilate you! Yeesh. Uh, uh. You okay, dude? What are... Hey, jerk. Why the hell are you out here by yourself? This is all because of me. Oh, yeah, dude. All your fault. You definitely made these dudes creep around, following us, and, like, kidnapping someone, maybe. Yeah, you did it with your effing mind control powers. Dude, come off it. He... It... It's in my dreams. Dude. Dude. You don't get to do this, okay? You don't get everything that's going on with you. And I'm not saying it's not happening. I believe you, okay? I do. But you don't get to die on me. You are not gonna do that to me, okay? Okay. We've been best friends since forever, you big dumb idiot. And even if this is somehow all, all in your head, which it isn't, I would still back you. To the actual God's honest end. Jeez, me too. Clearly. Clearly we all would be. I shot a dude for you, come on! And if we keep talking like this, I'm gonna cry and... Greg... <coughs> Thank you. Well, he's wounded. Sounds like he went back up to the mine. Yeah, what do we do? Follow him, I guess. You all wait here. I'll go. Anyway. Yeah, anyway. I'm pretty sure this is the same. Alright. Let's go die, or something, but hopefully not. Jeez, spooky. I don't know... I don't think we get to complain about spooky. We left our precious robot boy out in the woods. That's spooky. Nah, dude, we created a legend. What are you two even talking about? It's been a weird few days. You know, probably time to talk talk about it, but I fucking love voice acting. Like, that's that's been one of my favorite things to do in just most of the games I've been playing, like, that, that have things that you need to read, you know? It's just, voice acting's really fun. Like, and honest to god, I hope I've been able to capture capture the emotion in the Greg Redux of the of that scene as I did the original time. Hell, maybe even more. I don't know. We'll see we'll see what you guys think. <laughs> My brain is in pieces right now. It's all just empty. Everything's empty. What are we going to do? We'll crack that one. We'll crack that one when we are far away from here. I don't know if I... <sighs> Talk later.
God. Is everyone okay? May! 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 Say something! <laughs> Why are we laughing? It's okay now. We messed that guy up and he's not coming back. You're gonna walk out of this. So, how are we gonna get out of here? Shh, let me rest. I feel air coming in from somewhere. So, we're not gonna suffocate. Okay, well, that's a relief. How do you... I was a scout, Greg. I was a scout. Hey, Angus. Yeah? I love you. Oh. Welcome back, May. You okay? Better now that I almost got murdered. Ah, uh, this is this is this is all the same. <laughs> like honestly, I don't need to be do doing the minor the the minor changes to to the to how the story progresses. But it, it is worth it to see. Like so, like, and honestly, I think it's it's worth it to record. Maybe I don't know. Like it's like it's one of the like it's one, this is definitely one of those things that I'm still getting a grip on, you know, figuring out what figuring out in uh the extra material what's what's worth capturing and what what isn't. But honestly, everything is. I don't know. It's just one of those things. Like I can't I can't really do the series over again because I get so much repeat material. You know, it's just trying to figure out the a good. A good balance of what to rep of what to allow to be repeated and what of and how much new content to be added to the series officially, you know. Yeah, someone better explain the trolley thing to me so I can relay it as well. It's it's not about the morality of the people. That's where I was getting caught up. It's about you come across. It's basically you come across a trolley that's moving and splits b and splits into two ways, and there's a lever. If it's if you don't if you if you don't if you walk by and and there's one person on there's one person on the tra on one way and like three people the other way and if you don't do anything if you if you say this is not my problem then the then the three people will will get hit but if you but if you decide to save those three people you throw the you throw the lever. The trolley will switch to only killing the one person. But you are making the moral decision that this one person should die to save these other three people. You are actively choosing for that person to die, rather than so, rather than keeping your hands clean and not doing anything. So you so the morality is of are you going to actively participate in someone's death, or 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 keep yourself from or let three people die, but not be act actively participating in their death. That, that's the basic. That's the gist. I don't even understand life. I think you get taught that you have a lot more control of the world than you do. I just walked into all this horrible stuff that was already happening. We all did. And I guess that's really scary. Like, who knows what's gonna happen. But I guess you can, like, connect things. Or connect to things. Sometimes you need someone to be there. The th Sometimes you need someone to be the things you don't have even if it's something you're supposed to already have. All of you are what kept me from floating off. All of you are what kept me from floating off tonight. Also, you kind of killed that guy to save me. Don't think I didn't appreciate that. Well. Am I ever going to have a handle? Am I ever going to have a handle on what just happened? I kind of hope not. I just hope it's over. I want us all to get free of it. I don't want to be just some part of some horrible story. I want to, like, grow giant and pick all of you up and carry you someplace safe. Sorry. 
I'm all rambling now. I just gotta believe there's ways to escape. Or at least move on. Germ, buddy. Germ, you don't even use Messenger. I guess I'm just typing at you wherever you are. You're like the most stuck here of anyone I met. But you're the least trapped. That's some beautiful shit, dude. I think I pretty much love Greg more than anyone ever. <laughs> I don't know if better friends exist. We're like old shoes that go together. I'm sorry I caused drama between you and Angus, man. Angus, I give you Greg as a gift. <laughs> Remember to water and feed him. If you ever hurt him, I will kick your ass into the ground. He was mine first. Yep, there it is. Now, I'm just gonna erase all that. Oh, uh, shit. <laughs> Guys, I was just kidding about all that. I'm really tired, I don't know what I'm saying. Log off, May. Log off. Hey, May. You okay this morning? I'm not opening the pickaxe today. Greg and Foreman were doing band practice, though. Greg and Foreman were doing band practice, though. I'll see you there. Away message. It's good to be alive this morning. That is all. Hey, man. Nice message last night. I mean, like, really. You massive dork. Lol. Band practice today? Because I feel like we need to do something normal. I'm at the Snalkin. Hope you're feeling okay. Sincerely, Gregory. Just wanted to get what Lori says here. You know, get the other option because you know it's Lori, and I want to know what she and I want to know what she she'd say to the other thing. There is always time for the precious one. This entire place is royally messed up. And nobody cares. I wanted someone to notice things aren't okay. This town is like a horror movie that never stops, and it's not even a good one. Yeah, it might suck, but it's our horror movie. But it's our horror movie. And that's kind of cool, right? Yeah, but... Yeah, I know. I have the things... I have the same thing inside of me. The thing? The thing. I feel like no one cares. Everything just sucks forever. There's the thing... There's the thing coming for us, happening to us. Yeah, but, like, this... This isn't advice I'm good at taking. This isn't advice I'm good at taking, but... Sometimes things are big enough and bad enough that they're unkillable. But, you know, life goes on. Yeah, that's not really comforting. <laughs> Well, I'm still working on a better pep talk for myself, too. I'm still working on a better pep talk for myself, too. <laughs> Fair enough. You know, did your family do anything for the holidays? Alright, we already we already got this one. You're coming to Thanksgiving with me, Lori. You are officially a, you are an official Borowski. You 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 are now you are now Lori Myers Borowski or or something like that. Is that how adoption works? I don't know. I I don't I don't Adopt. But I'm adopting you, Lori. <laughs> you now have a cat mom. Jeez, that door never gets any less stuck. Holy crap, is that a pentagram sticker? Yeah? It's a corpse dri- Yeah? It's a corpse driver sticker. Wonder what four pentagrams means. What? Nothing. Nobody's here. Nobody here yet. Bunch of slackers. It's like they don't even want this band to succeed. <laughs> Where would we even play if we wanted to? Hmm. I have no idea. 
Go play those Legion. Go play those Legion Hall. Go play those Legion Hall shows in Fort Lucene. Oh wow, those were fun. We'd be. We'd be the oldsters now. Yep. So, uh, you okay? I guess. I mean, as much as I can even tell today. Yeah? Hmm, suspicious. Do you think those guys can get out of the mine? I guess we're gonna find out pretty quick. Did you notice anyone missing today? I don't know. But I don't think a lot of those guys were people I knew. Never can tell. Never can tell? This kind of thing happened to you often? Oh, all the time. So, like, I don't really get what even happened down there with you. And the... whatever that was. The cosmic horror? Oh, yeah. That. Um, it's old. Something older than anything I can think of. And you can feel it inside. And it's in a hole outside town? Yes. No. Like, the thing in the hole is... Jeez, I lost it. It's okay. It's like a porch light that's on. Well, Spider just ran across my desk. <laughs> Either that, or I'm seeing things again. Okay, I was saying that as a joke. But, I guess... Truth is stranger than fiction, that's reality. And there are all these bugs around it, and then the light goes out, and there's a hole where the, where the light was, and like, what happened to me way back, like I was telling you on the couch last night. God, that was last night? Seems like two weeks ago. <laughs> yeah. What a weird fall it's been. Yeah, I mean, even aside from last night, weirdest couple weeks of my life. Oh man, if you even knew. So, when we were at the Donut Wolf at when we so when we were at the Donut Wolf the other night, yeah, I got that donut with the pentagram on it. That was part of some shit these three weird teens told me would happen, like it was gonna help me. And last night I saw another pentagram down in the tun uh, down in the tunnel. That's why you asked me about that sticker? Yeah. I mean, you know what Angus would say. <laughs> yeah, pattern seeking. Okay, so get this. I went to Germ's house the other day. Holy shit! I've never been there. Oh, it's nice. Up in the woods. Got a trampoline. Aw, oh, lucky. So his grandma told my fortune a little vaguely? I could have just been hearing what I wanted to hear or something. Trim told me my fortune once. Maybe it's like a family thing? Hmm. What did he say? I thought I'd die. Getting hit by a bus. Wow, that's kind of a downer. Eh. So what did she tell you? I mean, if you squint, sort of what happened last night. I mean, she was also like really rude about my whole, you know, brain issues. Blech. But still, kind of spooky, and like... Okay, so there's this other person, this girl Lori I've been hanging out with. Who's Lori? Lori Myers. She's like 15, lives out by the tracks. You're hanging out with teens now? Eh, she needs a role model. She needs a mom! <laughs> she needs... she needs May Mom May. Mom May. That's nice of you, dude. We're doing... We're doing this thing where you put these little metal dudes on the tracks, and the train runs them over and they get all deformed. Oh yeah, I used to do that with pennies. Guess I wasn't thinking big enough. The pentagram thing and Germ's grandma and just all of this. There's like some sort of thing under this... There's like 
some sort of thing under this, holding it all together. But not because it cares about us. The thing in the hole, the ghost dreams or whatever, which I barely remember now. Even like Possum Springs, like we used to have a lot more jobs and people and stuff. And now we don't, and none of that's anyone's fault, really. Anyone here, and now at least, when I was when I was squashing those little toy guys with Lori, I was like, whoa, this is us. I don't know. It's all like dream logic or whatever. I feel like there are these giant, like, when the mills and the mines shut down, but... Those assholes down in the tunnels thought they could bring it back. Or like nobody go or like nobody goes to church anymore. But God's still gonna come back or something. Or like you leaving the sheep thing open. Hey. Like to get the gates to to get the gates like to them, the gates gone. And to you, the sheep are gone. And then like my whole bullshit and Okay, I lost my train of thought. Man, you're right. You have had a couple... Well, you have had a weird couple of weeks. You need, like, something. Yeah, man. Looking forward to Longest Night. Something to, like, reset everything. We got in all the Longest Night stuff at... We got in all the Longest Night stuff at work. You can just come down there. Earlier and earlier every year. Oh. I also gave us a rat infection in town. <laughs> what? Eh, it's like the one good thing that's happened. Hope springs, rats multiply. Very po- very poetical. P poetical Very poetical. I am extremely poetical. They killed Casey. They did. They killed Casey. I'm trying not to think about it. Do we, like, tell his parents? What do we tell them? I don't know. Is it worse to let them think he's alive, or tell them he's in a bottomless hole? In a tunnel? In the woods? With a bunch of guys who are gonna be dead soon? We should tell them. Okay. You get to figure out what we say. You get to figure out what we say. I'll let you know if I ever come up with anything. Sounds good. I think it's important that we... I think it's important that we know, at least. Makes sense. Means something. I don't know how to say it. I think we might be the only things in the universe who care about anything, or who even can care. Do you think any of this means anything, or like, meant anything? Hmm. Does it, Gregory? Hey, babies. Hey, hon. Babies? How was work? Jeez. I'm sore from, like, everything. Gotta do stretches. So, like, can I move to Bright Harbor with you guys? Oh. Uh. Um. I thought you, like, couldn't leave home? Eh, you guys are home enough. Or maybe I'll just visit for a while once you're settled in. Of course. Yeah, dude, that'd be rad. Hey guys. Yeah? Thanks for saving me last night. Like, repeatedly. <laughs> Not even a problem, dude. We'll save you as many times as it takes. Hey, B. Hey, B. Are you gonna say something? I don't really know what to say. What in the hell even happened last night? Eh, don't ask me. Can't we just, like, play a song and get pizza and think about this tomorrow? 
I had a dream that the world was ending. Song and pizza. All right. Sweet. It does, dude. What? Answering your question like two minutes ago. What question? Wh wh what were we even talking about? <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> All right, I guess I guess it'll make sense when I look back in editing. See, see, yeah, see if that, see if that it does matches up with anything that May was asking. Aw, that's nice. Pizza under the stars. I like this. I really liked that painting. It was really nice. We're here. I want to see if we've unlocked any new concept art. Okay, I remember the. I remember this stuff. Do, like, is it just me, or does or does uh, Beta or Alpha or does Alpha May concept May? I guess look like she's wearing a jacket. Hmm. We had an idea for the food toss game when Alec ordered a burger with a pierogi on it. <laughs> we went back to we went back to Scott and Bethany's old apartment and roughed the whole thing out right then, right then and there. Nice. Ooh. Historical society interior layout. Weird room. The end. Huh. Interesting. Way too many elevators. Very nice. Very cute. The pentagram handshake is based on an actual thing Scott saw at a basement punk show in the late 90s. Hmm. And, uh... Scum, but cute. So that's what her shirt says. Interesting. Lori! Lori Myers grew out of a doodle and a name. Aww. Wistaga! Crusties. Concept. These guys. I love the bottom left image of May. It's like, 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 I love all of this. This is cute. What? How do I have three? What the hell? I've pretty much cleared this game! Oh my god. Okay. Whatever. Anyway. So that was Night in the Woods. I love this game to death. This is officially one of my favorite games now. It's... Like, I don't know where the feeling came, came from. It just happens like this sometimes, where I feel like at any given moment, I need something. It's very vague at any given moment, except for this. This 
I, I had this I had this feeling like what do I want to do now? I'm feeling incredibly down. I don't know what I'm what I'm gonna do. I don't know how things are gonna turn out in my life. I need something. And I again I went into this game just completely blind. I didn't know anything about this game. But I went into it with, with this thought that it's going to do something for me. It's going to make me feel. It's going to ha give me this. Uh, it's going to give me some kind of revelations. It, it's going to do something for me. It's going to be that thing that came into my life at the exact right time, and I was right again. This has this has happened with me with multiple things, but like not as specific as Night in the Woods did. Night in the Woods just grabbed me and said, "You need me right now." Like other things, it was just a moment of. I see something and I'm just like, I think I want to watch or play this right now. Like, it's not the th it, it never, like, maybe this is just the moment, well, maybe this is just the moment of having this, be having this feeling have happened to me so many times. Like, my mind just clicked into it that that's what was happening. Like, you know? Like, I was able to recognize it as something that was happening that has happened before. Like, certain games, certain movies, certain, certain, uh, series had come into my life at just the right time for me to, like, at a point where I just flat out needed them, you know? And that's what, and that's, and that was this game. At the time of starting this series, I was in one of the worst depressions of my life, I gotta say. Like, not the longest, the, like... That depression lasted, like, a good maybe two months, three tops, and, like, I only broke through it after finishing this game the first time and just saying, hey, look, I am I need to take a break. Just, 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 I finished this game, I, I, got, th I got through it, then I just took a step back and digested it. And just, it did a lot for me, you know? It really put my feelings into perspective and let me let me think about them in in a manner, you know. Like again, this isn't the first time something like this has happened. Not specifically for I'm depressed and need something to bring me out of it, but something where something is not right in my life and I need to and I need something to help me look at it all in a new perspective. That's what things like Madoka Magica did for me. Like Madoka Magica came it to, came to me in a point in my life where I was where like I didn't know where I was going in life. I felt completely alone and I was dreading existing. And yeah, that did a lot for me. And this came into my life where uh, yet again I was just in t complete dread of living and just you know I didn't I couldn't see the light I, I, I couldn't I wasn't surfacing but I was able to put all of my feelings into perspective have them all broken down and finally just look at the big picture of what's going on and it helped me put myself back together you know more than that, this game's just fantastic. This game has an amazing story, a lot of a lot of really a lot of vagueness and and uh, a lot of stuff to chew on. A lot of a lot of uh, stuff that's just there for you to be able to figure out the story from and th and think about it from an angle that makes sense to you, like Hollow Knight was. Like, one of the things I love the most about Hollow Knight is it gives you the story. You have that. But it's up to you to piece together what you think actually happened. How you think, what you think the ending means. What you think, what well, well, endings. What you, what you think, like, went down before uh, slash after. What you think will happen. And, yeah. This game's story is a lot more straightforward, but it still has those hints of, like, 
there's something more complicated going on. There's there's a lot more moving pieces. There's a lot of interesting stuff that needs expounded on, that needs figured out. And I love it. I love all the characters. They're, they're just, they're all great. And I love the story. I love the gameplay, honestly, too. It was just, just this nice, explorative, cinematic sort of platformer thing. And like I said, it made me feel. It, 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 it hurt me a good couple times, and I'm glad for it. This... I don't know where it'd rank, but because I don't really number and rank games that are important to me, that, that games that I love, they just... They're just... I just hold them highly and just, you know... This is a game that's going to stay as part, like, part of me for the rest of my life, you know? And I'm so glad that it just came out of the blue, like, no, like, unlike Hollow Knight, which did a lot for the channel, which, it, which Hollow Knight did a lot for me as a person, too, like, like, that, like, and just helped me improve what I'm doing here. Hollow Knight was voted on by you guys. And, yeah. But, Night in the Woods, I chose to play this. Just, just out of this feeling like I need this game right now. And I genuinely don't know where that came from. It's just one of those things, like, it was meant to happen. Like, nah, that's just me going into my, my, my superstitions and stuff, but, you know, whatever. Whatever about that, I'm done rambling. I love this game, and just like with Hollow Knight, I don't really want to see it go. I don't want to move on from this, but it's time to go. It's time to move on from Night in the Woods, and... And yeah, we're gonna figure out what we're gonna do next. I don't know... I don't know when I'm gonna be posting these. God, because, like I said in the other episode, oh boy, fucking Hurricane Laura, fun. Marco kind of disintegrated. But, even still. And, I don't know what's next, I don't know what I'm gonna do, I don't even know what I'm gonna do for Halloween, I'm just kinda, at the moment, I'm just kinda, kinda stressed, kinda still trying to figure out what's go trying to, still trying to figure out what's going to happen, and, yeah, I'll probably do, I'll do something. Something is gonna be done. Hell, I may even start into some spooky stuff to just ease into, like, Halloween stuff. May do a couple one-offs of, like, some stuff, but I don't know. We'll figure it out, we'll move forward, and, like, once I have more storage, I really want to start into a new, se I really want to start into a new, really long series. Like, something that's going to be, like, Probably about 60 episodes. I have something big planned, and I really want to do it. It's just, it's, and I hope it's going to be as fun and great and, like, just, just wonderful as, you know, as I hope it will be. But, good night, night in the woods. We, we certainly had some times. Some good times, some bad times. Some really bad times, specifically from me. This game was pretty. Uh, this game was pretty top notch. There, I, I have no complaints about this game. Like just none. Like really, the only thing thing that I can complain about is is uh, like like there is no indication that if that if you say no to hanging out with Jerem or your mom, you're just not going to get that chance again. That I can complain about, but really, meh. It it that's a that's a nitpick at, at best. And I wish there was a way that you could hang out with everyone so you could get an ending that has just, you know, like, get 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 it from everyone's angle, you know? But then you wouldn't be incentivized to play it multiple times, and I guess that's what this game is going for, just play it multiple times, see it from different angles, and, you know, etc. But other than that, this game's pretty great. I have no complaints. Just loved it. And I'm super thankful that 
A, I got the chance to play it, B, I got the chance to play it for the channel, for you guys to enjoy. It really helped me just enjoy this game and have fun, you know? So we're moving on. I'll stop rambling, finally, and we'll, we'll go on to whatever's up next. Again, I don't know what it's going to be, for now at least. When, when everything calms down, when, the, when, the, when hurricane season's over, and when I'm able to just settle down and start working on like Halloween stuff, I'll think, I'll think on what I want to play next until I get, you know, more storage. So, until then, good night, Night in the Woods. You were, you were fantastic. And good night, everyone. I'll see you in whatever goofy shit I put up on the thing. Later. Good night, one and all.